I used to say to the to the officers there that uh, it's a wonder they hadn't have charged me for escape. And when I actually mentioned that word escape, you know, they kind of looked at me strange and said, "What? What are you talking about?" I'm like, "Well, you know, every time when I lift the pick the brush up and start painting and that, I'm I'm not here anymore. I'm not I'm not in the jail. I'm I'm actually in there, you know, down the river and and fishing and." And, and hunting and, and doing all those good things. So it was an escape. Confined is an exhibition showing not only art, but rehabilitation and reform. It's quite unusual. Most of the works have been made within the prison environment, either in a prison cell or within the, an educational room in a prison. The Torch works with Aboriginal inmates at prisons across Victoria, helping them to reconnect with their culture through art. So Ray, tell me about what um, being in The Torch has meant to you. Um, it's, it's, it's absolutely put me on the path to um, a better life. Um, being through the program and being on the other side and, and seeing how things are ran and just the support that you get from Kent and everyone else that's part of the TORCH program. It's, it's just, my future's only going to be a lot better. It's going to... Raymond Young's future is already looking good. He's an award-winning ceramicist with work purchased by the National Gallery of Victoria. You know, these, these are my markings from my, from my mob in Gippsland, the Gunai people, and um, they represent the four clans in the area that I'm related to. As well as connecting to country, there are more practical considerations too. The torch was launched as a pilot program and an external assessment deemed it a success at reducing rates of reoffending. Artists have come out of the program, long-term offenders, one fellow in particular said to me, you know what, everybody looks at me and says to me, you're the artist, aren't you brother? I love those paintings of yours. He said, everyone just used to look at me and, and you know, there's, there's the fellow who's always in trouble, that's the fellow and the uncle who's always in jail. And for the first time, prisoners taking part in the program are allowed to sell their work from behind bars. Aboriginal prisoners taking part in the program will receive a portion of the money straight away, while the majority will be held in trust until their release. Interest earned on the trust accounts will be paid to victim support groups. They can earn sufficient income to be independent so they don't reoffend. And the sad thing about the Indigenous community here in Victoria is over 50% reoffend. Now we're seeing with this program already, there's only been one or two who have reoffended. The torch is now turning its focus beyond Victoria and hopes to expand to other parts of Australia. It's hoped programs like this will help to reduce the rate of Aboriginal incarceration. The road to healing is has got to start from within, you know, and. Um, yeah, my art's helped me do that, so I hope that they can do the same. Yeah.